Welcome back to Math We Know. Calculate. 8 to the power of 6, then times 5 to the power of 5. How to solve it? Of course, first, by observation. The bases are 8 and 5. Are there any relationships between them? Of course, there are. 5 then times 8 is 40. It is a very nice number because the last digit is zero. For the exponents, 6 and 5. 6 is 5 plus 1. So this gives us an opportunity to rewrite the 6 as 5 plus 1. So our first step should be replace the 6 with 5 plus 1. So 8 to the power of 5 plus 1, then times 5 to the power of 5. And now we should use this formula. Which formula should we use? The formula of calculating of the exponents. So we should use this formula. a to the power of m plus n is equal to a to the power of m then times a to the power of n. Since now a is 8, m is this 5, and n is this one on the exponent. So now, by using this formula, it is equal to 8 to the power of 5, and then times 8 to the power of 1, then times 5 to the power of 5. I'm going to write this times 5 to the power of 5 first, and then times 8 to the power of 1. Since 8 to the power of 1 is just 8, since any number is to the power of 1, it's just equal to itself. So next step, we're going to use this formula. I should write the formula first, not this equal sign. But I can write it here. That is, a to the power of m, then times b to the power of m, is equal to the base a times b. The multiplication of the bases, and then raised to the power of m. So now, this is 8 times 5 all to the power of 5. And then times 8. Next! 8 to the power of 5 is 40. So calculate it. And then times 8. Since its last digit is 0. So it can be written as 4 times 10. So 4 times 10 and then all to the power of 5 then times 8. By using this formula again, a times b all to the power of m is equal to a to the power of m then times b to the power of m. Substitute these numbers into this formula and a is 4, b is 10, m is 5. So, what can we get? a is 4, 4 to the power of 5 and then times 10 to the power of 5 and then times 8. 10 to the power of 5, a nice number. It is 100,000. However, our problem is how should we deal with 4 to the power of 5 and 8? Here comes a nice idea. 4 and 8, the bases, are both the inter powers of 2. Four is two squared. And eight is two cubed. By using this formula, which formula should we use? A to the power of m or to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m times n. It is also equal to a to the power of n or to the power of m. You have to recite or memorize these three formulas. So now, a is 2. This 2, this base, from this big base. And m is this 2. So it is 2 to the power of 2 times 5. 
and then times 2 to the power of 3. I'm going to write this first, and then times 10 to the power of 5. Very, very good. Bravo. And then, magic. Here is 2 to the power of 10 times 2 cube, and then times 10 to the power of 5. One word. Nice. 2 to the power of 10 and times 2 to the power of 3. They have the same basis, but different exponents. So according to this formula, 2 to the power of 10 and times 2 to the power of 3 is 2 to the power of 10 plus 3, 13, and then times 10 to the power of 5. So now, we know that 10 to the power of 5 is just 100,000. So we have only to calculate this annoying guy. 2 to the power of 13. 2 to the power of 12 is 4096. And 2 to the power of 13 is... Dun -dun -dun. Magic. It is... 8192. And then times 10 to the power of 5. We know that 10 to the power of 5 is... 100000. Zero 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 zero. So it is... 819250 zeros. Do you get it? And don't forget to give me some up. Subscribe to my channel for more videos. And see you in the next video. Bye bye.